a lot of you have been messaging me, sending me emails saying, Sam, uh, there's some serious problems with my Hyundai electric car. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. My name's Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Hyundai and Kia, in my opinion, make phenomenal electric cars. I love them. Sorry, I do. That doesn't mean, though, that they haven't had some pretty significant issues. Now, my personal number one concern with their cars is that I love them. I love the style, the substance, meaning the battery cells, the battery technology itself. Well, if you're following the industry closely, you'd know that there's been more recalls for these cells in those cars, particularly LG Chem's battery cells than there has for any other battery company in the world. Now, put all the battery companies in the world together and LG Chem has had more recalls. However, there's now a class action lawsuit against Hyundai over a charging plug defect. A nationwide class action lawsuit claims that the Hyundai Ionic 5, the Ionic 6, so the brand new sedan, I just saw one yesterday at a dealership. The Ionic 6, it looks amazing in person. Anyway, it's involved in this class action lawsuit. Genesis GV60 and Kia EV6 plugs will overheat slowing charging significantly. So of course, all the cars that I just mentioned, all those models have three, well, the potential for 350 kilowatt industry leading super fast charging. Well, in the real world, it turns out it's not quite happening the way it was planned. The rate at which Hyundai Group electric vehicles can actually charge when plugged in at home though, is at the heart of a newly launched nationwide class action lawsuit. And the thing that's worth really considering here, how often do you fast charge your car? The average person, what, maybe 10% of the time or less? I would say probably less than that. I'd say the average person, maybe 5%. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what your experience is. Personally, my EV, I've never fast charged it. Anyway, plaintiffs claim that a defect in the plug port means that it overheats while the vehicle is performing level two charging, dramatically slowing energy recuperation speeds. Now, would this happen with Tesla's NAX charging ports? I don't know. I mean, I haven't heard of these issues with those. The lawsuit filed in the United States District Court in the Central District of California cites numerous owner complaints, videos outlining the alleged flaw and the Hyundai Group's own efforts to remedy the situation, otherwise, in other words, they're aware of it and they're trying to fix it, as evidence of a problem for which owners are entitled to compensation. Hyundai cites a level two home charging time of between five and seven hours. Owners have seen much slower speeds. They're just not getting that realistically in the real world. The plaintiffs say that this is the result of overheating inside the plug which prolongs charging or makes it basically impossible. Hagen's Berman Sobol Shapiro LLP is representing the class of plaintiffs and reports that in some instances, the charging plug can overheat in as little as 30 minutes, leaving owners with little range to go about their daily driving. Indeed, carscoops.com says that the highway, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's website lists a number of complaints, as in numerous complaints, from owners relating to this issue, which it believes Hyundai isn't taking seriously. I don't think that's true. I think Hyundai are, but I think they just haven't worked out how to fix the problem. One owner said earlier this month that their vehicle app reported a charging failure every two to three minutes, though their vehicle did eventually fully charge. That does remind me of the car that someone bought. I think it was in the UK. Someone bought a brand new Hyundai Ioniq 5 but it couldn't charge to anything above 70% battery capacity. Eventually, after a fair bit of arguing, they were able to get a new car that would charge to 100% capacity. In addition, plaintiffs claim that a software update designed to fix the issue is little more than a band-aid, basically doesn't work. It throttles, as in slows down charging speeds in order to prevent overheating, leaving owners with charging times of well over 10 hours. It's just like, Really, the whole point of the charging with these EVs, Hyundai Genesis and Kia EVs at home, you do most of your charging at home and you should be able to stick it on charge at night when you get home and then in the morning you wake up and your battery is full, but owners 
aren't able to do this. So it's frustrating for them. I, I can't kind of understand where they're coming from. Not only do Hyundai, Kia and Genesis continue to sell vehicles that are clearly incapable of performing as advertised, they also issued a software patch which substantially worsens charging rates and widens the gap between what they promised and what they're delivering, said Steve Berman, managing partner at the law firm. Unexpectedly finding a car with an uncharged battery in the morning causes serious disruption to people's lives and could have consequences in an emergency. The vehicles implicated in the class action lawsuit are the vehicles I just mentioned before, the Ionic 5, Ionic 6, Genesis GV60, and the Kia EV6. However, the legal company Hagen's Berman says it is bringing claims of violations of the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, violations of the California Computer Data Access and Fraud Act, and violations of applicable state consumer protection laws against the Hyundai Group. Sounds a bit excessive to me. I'm not sure if all of those laws have been breached here, but anyhow, that's what's happening. And that's about all I know so far. Now, yes, guys, for those of you who have sent me emails, I'm sorry I haven't responded to them. I'm very much aware of what's been happening here. And I know there's been other issues with Hyundai's charging um, with the battery packs. There's been, there's been a few different issues that have been going on. Um, and obviously it doesn't get the media press. That's why I'm making this video. It doesn't get the media press that Tesla does. If this was a Tesla car, you all would already know about it. There'd already be thousands of articles. It would have been on the front page of the newspaper. It would have been on CNBC and everything else. But Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, they just don't get the same level of media scrutiny that Tesla does. Uh, and therefore, I think it's reasonable and fair that I make this video to well, put a bit of pressure on Kia, Hyundai and Genesis to fix the problem. Now, that said, I very much would like to have a daily driver, the Ionic 5 or the Ionic 6. But if I'm going to go out and pay that much of my own money, it's a lot of money to buy these cars, then I want what I paid for. So I can understand where these guys are coming from. But what do you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching.